All right, 748 right now. Midnight tonight is the deadline for folks to sign up for health coverage through Washington's Health Plan Finder. The coverage would start on March 1st. American Indians and Alaska Natives can enroll year-round. Washington Health Plan Finder Business and Medicaid also open year-round and it is also the last day to sign up for Obamacare. Joining us this morning, Washington Health Plan Finder Director of Communications, uh, Michael Marshan. Good to have you. Thank you, Bill. All right, so a lot of questions for folks today. Um, what if folks need to know about about the deadline at midnight tonight? Uh, yes, yeah, so the deadline's midnight tonight. What that people need to know is that they haven't selected their health coverage to go in and help Plan Finder and do so tonight by midnight so that they have it for 2017. Got it, and if they don't do that? If they don't do that, um, they will likely not be able to get coverage unless they have mitigating circumstances and they'll be technically um, the potential for them getting fined for not having the coverage. And uh, the enrollment is strong this year. Yes, enrollment's been doing tremendously well. We're at 216,000 people have selected plans and we're up 15% from where we were last time uh, this year. So, so that's a pretty good indication that, that, that people are definitely using the, yes. the uh, Affordable Care Act. So that, that, that I guess is something when you, you look at the threat of Obamacare being repealed in Congress, how could that affect people in our state? Well, we've got about 750,000 people who could be affected if there is a repeal. I will say this though, for all the people today, if you select coverage today, it's good through 2017. So don't worry about 2017, you'll be good for that. But moving forward, of course, I think a lot of us have a lot of questions and we'll be seeing what comes out of DC related to regulations right. and how it's affecting. And you know, from your perspective, you know, when, when you talk about repeal and replace, the replace part is complicated. And I sure. think the administration now understands that you can't just simply say, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll just go ahead and replace this. Um, it's complicated. So if you were to look at this and say, what could be improved in the Affordable Care Act? What, what would you say the focus maybe should be there? Well, I think the focus should be is giving some of the states that have done the Affordable Care Act well, like states like Washington State, what we have here with our exchange and our expansion of Medicaid and other things, is giving them the freedom to continue doing that work should they choose to do so. And I think there are some legislators in D.C. who put forward some ideas that would enable states like ours to have the freedom to continue some of the work that we've done in a bipartisan way, even in our state legislature, to continue the good work we've done. Fair to say Washington Health Plan Finder has been a success overall, right? Yes. Okay, so so when, when you look at it nationwide and you, and you say, okay, so if, if we're going to replace the Obamacare, um, what tenant from Washington was particularly successful that, that other states and maybe the, the federal government could, could really latch on to? Well, I think what we did very well was working with our Medicaid agency and making sure that we had no wrong door so that people coming in, because many of them didn't know if they were going to qualify for tax credits or a qualified health plan or Medicaid. And many people who qualified for Medicaid had no idea. They just assumed they were going to come on and buy insurance. And as it turns out, they qualified for Medicaid. So it's making sure that everyone's coming to the same place, getting the same eligibility determination and able to go there and get their coverage. Excellent information. Uh, Michael Marshan, thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, by the way, to sign up, just head to wahealthplanfinder.org. Liz, Casey.